and then once again I can belt them down and I would just be doing a posterior glide here, okay? This doesn't work well to sit on these stools because they're rolling stools and I just feel like you get a lot of leverage on them. So usually if you have a chair that you can slide over, it works better. Or just put the table up a little bit more so that you can stand and do mobilization, okay? Because otherwise these rolling stools, you just, you don't really get a good push through them, I don't feel. Um, so once again, stabilize femur. I'm going to mobilize tibia posteriorly. So I'm going to grab here, right below those malleoli, and I'm just going to apply a little traction and posterior glide. Okay? So just kind of like that. See that? Okay. So just uh, those different three, you want to practice all of them. If one feels better than the other, as long as you have a patient that can be in that position, just gives you a little alternative technique. This is nice if the patient really like lacks a lot of flexion, like if they're way up here, you can just have them supported, you know, here between your legs or something, and then you can do the mobilization a little bit easier that way. Or you can have their foot resting on a stool or something like that. So this just one works if they don't have a lot of flexion motion, because you can't get down into them and prone. And sometimes supine doesn't work so well, okay? So let me show you anterior as well then. Mm -hmm.